Hi, sorry to bother you twice in one day, but I guess you heard that the FBI has reopened its probe of Hillary's emails to determine whether or not she sent or received classified emails in violation of federal law. Now, what happened here was that the Congressional Committee subpoenaed and the FBI requested Uma Abedin, her chief aide, to turn over any emails she had that might be relevant to the investigation. And she did. But then the FBI was investigating Wiener, her husband, the former congressman, to see if his sexting involved soliciting minors across state lines, which would trigger federal jurisdiction. And in the course of that investigation, they took the computers belonging to both of them, Uma and uh, Anthony, they're married. And it turned out that Uma's computer contained, according to one source, at least a thousand emails that should have been turned over and were not turned over, uh, breaking the law about the subpoena and breaking her commitment to the FBI voluntarily to turn them over. So this is pretty ser serious. Her chief aide and Hillary's main confidant uh, sat on a thousand or more emails that were relevant to their investigation. Now, even if the FBI goes down the same road it did before, which is to say, yeah, there were emails, yeah, they should have been turned over, yeah, they contained some classified material, but no, we're not going to recommend an indictment. It's nine days before the election. And the very fact that they're doing this, which is not their policy, their policy is to stay away from the period before an election. That's why they wrapped up the investigation in early July. For them to do this really changes this whole game. And it comes at a time when Hillary uh, is really in serious trouble. Uh, two days ago, Doug Band had a memo released by WikiLeaks where he brags about how he brought $60 million of revenue into Bill Clinton's pocket uh, by using the Clinton Foundation and his consulting firm Tenio to line up what are in effect bribes. And it comes at a time when Trump is really hitting his stride, particularly with blue-collar voters, by focusing on the Obamacare premium increases that are really roiling the electorate. Uh, I looked through some of the polling, and I found that Trump has doubled his lead from 14 points to 30 points among white, high school-educated men, and increased his lead among women, similarly, by seven points. Uh, all of the polls show this race closing. The ABC poll, which on Monday had Hillary 12 ahead and then 9 ahead, now has her only 4 ahead. And with this new information, God knows what it's going to show. There's an historical irony to this. Bill Clinton won the presidency in 1992 after Bush had basically caught up with him and tied him in the tracking polls, having lagged behind for two months because Lawrence Walsh, the special prosecutor, announced he was going to indict Weinberger, a member of Bush's cabinet. And the minute that happened, Bush fell down by five points and lost the election by five points. And now here we are with an FBI investigation, maybe dooming Hillary's candidacy, similarly before the election. The FBI giveth and the FBI taketh away. Thanks for watching.